everyone. I am nine months pregnant and we're just waiting for stuff to happen, waiting for someone to arrive to fill that crib. And through my pregnancy, I've done a lot of secondhand hauls because I've bought most of my baby stuff and also most of pregnancy things secondhand. And today, as we have a birth and postpartum period coming up, I thought I would share the items I've bought secondhand for those two things. I've posted a few shorts where I've made unboxing hauls. So some of these items you might have seen before, but now we have more than one minute to discuss them. First things first, let's go through the stuff I've bought for the birth because that will be happening before postpartum. In Norway, there's this website that's called the hospital bag that sells essentials for the hospital bag. So this website obviously sells essentials that will probably be nice to bring to the hospital, especially if you're expecting a vaginal birth. My friend recommended for me to get some of these things and they obviously are a little bit expensive. And I found someone who sold a collection of them that were completely unused and unopened, of course. So I got a bunch of cooling pads for using after birth to reduce, you know, pain and swelling and all of that. This is my first baby and obviously no one can predict their labor anyway. But I just figured it's nice to have because you never know what you'll need. I also got these one-time use panties. I threw away the cute pink box they came in. So now they just look like, you know, gray old panties. So they're similar to the ones you get at the hospital. So they obviously like, they're not tight, they're comfortable. They can fit these things in them. I also got a peri bottle and uh, yeah, if you don't know what it is, you basically use it after birth instead of wiping when you go to the toilet because uh, parts down there might be a little bit sensitive, you know? And I also got these. There's some soothing wipes that you can use, you know, after going to the toilet or whenever you feel like some soothing down there. <laughs> and I also bought this thing. It's a birthing comb. It's basically a comb that's like shaped ergonomically or whatever so that it's easy to grab in your hand. And it's for like putting pressure into your hand so that hopefully you can cancel out some of the pain from the contractions or like your brain can like focus on this instead. It's obviously just like a natural little pain remedy and I don't know if it's gonna work, but it's worth a try. I just thought this is not expensive and I bought this secondhand from someone, obviously all of this is secondhand. It's not used and I also got this audio file with instructions on how to use it. So that's really good. I just thought it's worth a try. My midwife hadn't heard about this, so I brought it to my next appointment and showed her and she said that I would probably break it with my hand. Oh be the strongest I've ever been. <laughs> so the next thing to show you, I'm actually wearing, so I just need to take off. It's my happy flops. I don't know if these are a thing outside of Norway or Scandinavia, but they're super comfortable slippers. I bought them to wear both in pregnancy as my body is heavier and my feet are feeling it. But also when I go into labor, I really want to move as much as possible to maybe, you know, speed things up a little bit or make it easier for the baby to come out or move down. That's my ambition anyway. And also for postpartum, I think these will be invaluable as I'll probably be walking around a lot with the baby to, you know, settle it and stuff like that. So it felt like a great time to buy them. It did hurt my image a little bit. I don't like slippers, but now I'm a slipper wearer. <laughs> and something else that I've also been using in pregnancy, but I will be using postpartum as well, is my pregnancy pillow. It's both a pregnancy pillow and a, you know, breastfeeding pillow. I bought this from my friend actually, so it was super easy. It's super comfortable, so I'm sure it will be a great help, especially in the beginning of breastfeeding. It's really nice to be able to buy stuff from friends like the bedside crib that we have back there it's obviously not gonna be there I didn't mention that in the beginning but it's just because we have a small bedroom so we're just keeping it there until it actually has to go in the bedroom but I did buy that from one of my friends as well it's just so nice to be able to <laughs> buy you know the bulky items from your friends because it's not always easy to find them on Facebook marketplace and stuff because I live in a small town but yeah I think I bought my pregnancy pillow around like 20 weeks and I would definitely recommend just buying it early because when you need it you need that shit oh my my god and then as someone who's hoping to breastfeed and also you know has dealt with pregnant boobs <laughs> for a while i have a bunch of nursing bras that i've bought secondhand i've bought all of my nursing bras secondhand usually if you see me have something it's probably secondhand most likely it's going to be so i've just bought a bunch of different ones i've bought mainly bralettes just because like that's what i wear anyway i also don't know like what size my boobs will be after birth so i just figured it would be better to just you know actually buy more after the baby's here so yeah these are the only like actual kind of bra like things where they have the clips and stuff. Other than that, it's just the ones that you pull down. I have many more, but obviously some of them are in the wash and some of them 
I don't know, I just didn't feel like I needed to show all of them. And then we have more clothing. I've done a few pregnancy clothing haul videos throughout my pregnancy. So you've seen a bunch of my clothes that I've bought to also hopefully use for postpartum because I've focused on buying shirt dresses, like dresses with buttons so that they can be opened so that I can use them for breastfeeding. So they'll hopefully fit after birth and I can wear them still. I am obviously not gonna do like a try on haul because most of these do not fit me right now, but I'll just show you what they look like anyway. These two dresses I've definitely shown up before in my like maternity clothing haul videos and I'm so excited to wear them again because they're so freaking cute. These two I have yet to wear. This one is long and short sleeved so perfect for summer if it fits. This could not fit my pregnant belly and this one was too short for my pregnant belly because I don't like short dresses. It does come down to below my knees but as I have a big belly it gets a lot shorter. These two are very cute. I wore them a little bit before they got too small. This one I have huge hopes for and I will definitely be wearing a lot this summer if it fits. I love wearing it in my pregnancy and this one I got a lot of compliments for but I only wore it a couple of times. This one is super cute. I wore it like a couple of times before. The buttons would just you know give up but I got a lot of compliments for it and this one I wore maybe once or twice but it was a little bit it had the same problem with my big belly so it got a little bit short and also it has one of those belts that you tie and I just think it will look so much better when I don't have a pregnant belly. This dress you know so I can kind of get away with it because it kind of looks cute to have the bow up here but with this one not so much the same effect. And here we have two dresses that I have never worn because they're summer dresses and I bought them earlier in my pregnancy so I haven't had a chance to wear them yet but I am very excited about them. They're like short sleeved very light fabric. Surely they're gonna be amazing for like breastfeeding during the summer and just, you know, walking around and stuff. And I have some more like comfy clothing or clothing for like taking walks and just chilling at home and stuff like that. Because of course, even though I love wearing dresses and it's very low maintenance, I would say, because it's very chill, very easy to throw on because your whole outfit is one clothing piece. I of course want some clothes to just chill at home with and I don't have a lot of chill clothes. I'm gonna be spending a lot more time at home now on maternity leave than I usually do. And I need a bigger selection of clothes because you know, might get sick on me a lot <laughs> or other bodily fluids. So I just figured it would be a good time to buy some clothes for like chilling and taking walks with the baby and stuff like that. So I got some sweat shorts. They're super cute. My favorite color, dark green. It's such a struggle to find shorts that aren't too short and also not too long because I don't like, <laughs> I don't like either of those, but these felt like a good find. These we will see. They're like Nike workout shorts. Maybe they'll fit me. Uh, obviously they're like stretchy, so. <laughs> They look very small. They might just become clothes for wearing at home. And then I got these Bump Pro uh, workout shorts as well. They seem very comfortable, like they're stretchy and they're also, it's uh, a thick fabric. So it feels like I will feel very supported in there. And then I got these shorts. Oh, they look so big, but it's cause they have this lining. And I think these will be super comfortable for walking around in. Okay, I just had to go and get these from the laundry basket cause I realized I forgot them. So. I'm not gonna say this is a conclusive list because there's probably more <laughs> items that I've just forgotten about. My brain has really given up on me. But these are some Snoopy shorts or peanuts. I absolutely love this. My partner has a t-shirt with this uh, exact print and that t-shirt has been handed down to me. I'm not saying I'm gonna wear them together, but I might. But I was so happy when I found that someone was selling these. To pair with all of these shorts, I've bought a bunch of t-shirts. Some of them are a little bit loose and some of them are not. They're plain just so they can be worn with everything. And then we have another t-shirt. It has Powerpuff Girls on it and I got so happy when I found it. It was only like $10-ish, ish, so I was very happy about that find. I also bought some like sweats to chill in. My baby is a summer baby, but you never know about Norway, so some long sleeves is good. And also like my maternity leave is gonna take me until like February, so I still need some long sleeves and stuff. Can you tell I really like peanuts? This one is so comfortable and it almost fits my belly right now, so I wear it when I'm at home. I don't have a lot of chill clothes to wear out and about because Nothing fits my stomach right now. And then we have this hoodie. And actually, uh, the same person that was selling those Snoopy shorts also is selling this jumper. And also this one with Patrick from SpongeBob on it. And it was such a good find. So it's obviously kind of cheap as well because I only had to pay the shipping cost once. So this was a really good deal. And this is so soft, I love it. And then I have this sweatpants and sweater 
set, which I absolutely love. And maybe I'll get to feel a little bit cute when I'm walking around. <laughs> I think I've shown everything. I uh, just love showing off my secondhand finds because being able to buy such a huge part of what I need for this, you know, big life change secondhand. It saves so many resources from being used. It saves our planet, it saves my wallet, cause uh, having a baby is expensive. Not actually the having the baby part because you don't pay the hospital to have a baby in Norway, but there's a lot of stuff to buy. So if you can buy it secondhand, it can save you so much money and it saves the planet as well. I hope you thought this was fun to watch. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you later. Bye.